Hi, it's John. It's the uh, 20, 23rd of uh, June 2014. And I'm just uh, coming up on the Andover Road, nearly up at the A34. And uh, just coming up from the 303 on the cut through through Andover to the A34. And I've been here once or twice before. And there's this nature reserve here, National Trust, and it's called the Chase Nature Reserve. And it's a lovely little unspoiled area. And they've got cattle running free in here. And here's the sign here, and it says, uh, we're looking to recruit recruiting volunteer cattle lookers to join our friendly and dedicated team. To find out more, contact the number below. Um, and there's a picture of cattle in the in the woods here. And, and of course the, the cattle will be keeping the um, the undergrowth down a bit. Uh, the Chase Nature Reserve. The Chase was gifted to the National Trust by Sir Kenneth Swan in 1944 in memory of his friend Anthony Collett, a naturalist and writer. We are happy to share the tra tranquility of our beautiful nature reserve with you and we hope you enjoy the wildlife as much as we do. Open the conservation grazing cattle free roaming on this site, the National Trust. Um, to be honest, I just stopped here for a little break on the way through to Oxford when I'm coming up through. Um, so I, I don't know much about about the site. Um, and I'm going to put a link at the bottom of the uh, video here to... Um, for details about the site. Um, I can see there's cattle bin in here, so I can see some cattle poo. And here's some odd bales up here, ready for a bit of fodder in the winter, no doubt. I've, I don't know how, how how big it is, the area. There's a lovely oak tree there. It's about half past nine in the morning at the moment, so we're in the in the good lighting time. And you know, if you wanted, if you if you if you had that picture of the, the oak trees in your mind, and you wanted to get it, you never would. But uh, but when you see it, you see it, don't you? quite a big area to here to explore. I mean, when you think about it, I mean, if they've got cattle roaming in here, it must be a big area, mustn't it? Um, the whole concept of somebody leaving money to buy uh, woodland in memory of a friend, right? So a man, a person has their life and the, and the money is used as a means of exchange during their lifetime. That's fair enough. But then, when they're dead, they've also used that money to continue to um, have power after their death. I mean, that is great that, that the money is used for a nature reserve, but there's part of me which thinks that money, the means of exchange, should just be used for one's lifetime. And then, once you're dead, that money should have no power anymore. Um, it's like like um, some of these trusts that are set up um, to give grants to projects which a person believes in and carries on forever and ever 
after they're dead. Well, in a way, the whole the whole world could be uh, stalemated by all these trusts of the dead people. Ooh, there's a nice shot. Look at the gate. Oh well, that's been a nice little break. I better get on my way now. I've up to Oxford about another 25 miles to go. Up the A34. Uh, see my dad. This is a nice little area. Let's come here again. Bye, bye for now.